from 2004 to 2008, I seen Dr. Gordon's sister, Kenny, uh, out of Abbott Rehab, and Dr. Gordon prescribed Oxycontin and Vicodin, and he said, Sharon, when I give you this Oxycontin, you're gonna need a pill to get off of it. So I immediately went home and I called my mom. And he, we chatted, me and my mom. And I started selling that shit immediately to those that wanted it. Cause see, I didn't want an addiction, Dr. Gordon. He retired right after that. And in my belongings from 3625 Oliver, you would have that letter. You'd have that letter from Dr. Gordon. You'd have that letter from Jane Murray. You would have the two doctors who I filed complaints on. I didn't file one on Dr. Gordon for giving me an addiction and then retiring. Right, that's what it said, I'm retiring. You, you retired, Dr. Gordon, from Sister Kenny, Abbott Hospital, under Dr. Para, by the way. I transferred to Dr. Pinto, but I started with Dr. Gordon and Dr. Para out of Twin City Spine. And Dr. Para was very prejudiced and I didn't like him. And I transferred doctors within the facility of Twin City Spine. I, I started seeing Dr. Pinto, and that might have been worse. Except for, I, I'm torn, Dr. Pinto, because part of me said I didn't want the surgery that you, you said would make my pain go away. And then there's the part of me that keeps hearing you tell me I needed a second discogram because the insurance company said so, right? They didn't need the first one. They wanted a second one, and those were painful, those discograms. They said they put a thin needle in your back, and they blew air in there. And if you felt the air, that meant there was a problem. You're not supposed to feel it. I felt that shit. Povial, P-O-V-I-A-L, Twin City Spine sent me to Center for Diagnostic Imaging, and a Dr. Povial, I thought they said, put that needle in my spine and blew that air in there in 2005, six. And that was when it was said I needed a disc effusion because I could feel the air that Dr. Povio put in there. At one point I thought he hit the nerve. I called CDI and said he hit the nerve. Like he hit a nerve when he put that needle in my back. And that made my right leg lock up and I screamed in pain. I was screaming in pain. But when my back goes out, Dr. Pinto, that's how I feel on a regular basis. So I'd be scared when my back bothers me. I'd be scared to do certain things because I know that pain might come back and that shit hurt like a motherfucker. I haven't had it that often, that pain, Dr. Pinto. But you be very clear. Sister Kenny out of Abbott Rehab where, again, uh, Northside Chiropractic. He said, Sharon, I don't think there's nothing wrong with you, but I'm going to send you for an MRI. And the MRI said there was something wrong with me. So when I worked at Express Scripts and all them fucking doctors knew, that was God chatting me. God said, see, test proof shit, Sharon. They looked at you and they knew but that test said that your back was broke. L3, L4, L5, S1. The lower half of your fucking spine needed to be fused together because they said the cartilage was gone in between the bone from the accident in 2004 when a small compact car with a white woman on her way to the estate settling hit me. And I hit that wall and my car popped up and the transmission was milliliters. Not centimeters, not inches, milliliters. Like I had to move my leg around it to get out the car. Like it stopped right next to my leg. I might not have a left leg, God. But I do, don't I, God? I, I am blessed to walk. When I see these homeless people chatting me, because we all go 